Okay, guys, here we are back again playing some more Half Life Absolute Zero. As you can see, I totally completed the jumping puzzle and did not use no clip at all to get through it. Yeah. And I just, you know, I didn't want to embarrass anybody uh, who couldn't do it by uploading my amazing skills. Um, you know, so I decided to not show off and just do it off camera. So definitely didn't use any cheats. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, definitely didn't use the console um, to do that. Anyways, in all honesty, I I probably could have done it. I just I'm playing this more to check it out, like what's different, how it how it compares, than for any sort of like. I'm not playing this as like, ooh, I need a, I need a massive challenge right now. I just, that's a new sound bit. I have never heard that before, and I've played Half-Life far too many times. I'm kind of afraid to jump down here. So you know what? It's that, there you go. That's that's the golden rule in games. Um, for any of you who are curious how to actually do this, I believe you start with the switches at the far end, go uh, one, two, three, four, and then you rush back and you have to get on that little box right there and then jump up and get to it and then try and jump to each of these. And I just, you know, I do not like timed puzzles and I'm just doing this for fun. I'm not doing this because I'm Mr. Hardcore Gamer over here. And you know what? I need that health. What am I doing? Yeah, I jumped off of a box earlier when I shouldn't have. That's that's why I have like no health now. All right, so that looks good. I don't think I can go up there. So what I'm gonna do? Oh, oh shit, oh shit, I don't want this. It's not what I want. Please take me back. Country roads, take me home. I'm just gonna check audio again real quick. Uh, recording. Uh, looks good, okay, looks good, looks good, looks good, okay. Okay, we're recording, and... Did I just... Are you serious? Okay, so there's no button. Okay, I mean the power's on, but I don't think that... Did that change the shutdown status? We'll see, I mean, we'll see, I don't know. I don't think it did. Oh, there we go, okay, all right, yeah. Out of here. If I start getting cross later, it's because of sipping whiskey right now. Excuse me, not cross. Crude. Crude. That is similar. It's a lot darker in the original version right here. So. Let's see what's in here. So, yeah, this looks largely the same, just the lighting is... They went for a much darker... Which I, could, I, I don't know which I like better, personally, um, yet. So far, I think it's because of the novelty. So this is cool, little things like this. There, what is, there wasn't as much of this stuff in, in OG Half-Life. Dr. Newell, I see that. God, I need to get my PhD. For those of you who don't know, uh, I am actually working on my PhD in engineering, and uh, this is definitely part of what I might call massive procrastination, so thank you for joining me in my bouts of self-destruction. That was not fair. So okay, I, I think in this version you're not really supposed to go in here, so I'm going to just reload that save. Another thing I really like about Half-Life is, yeah, you're not going to get me, dude, don't worry about it, is the sound design. 
like this. The, you know, wing, 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 wing. I mean, if you've ever been inside like a large metal tube or something like that, the the reverb and the mix of acoustics and stuff like that that can create these, like, there was a lot of things that they did. So even though it's a very linear, just kind of like a shooter, there's a lot of things they did to try and make it very realistic feeling and very immersive. And the sound design in these vents, like, I love this. This sound effect right here, hope you guys can hear it, is one of my favorites. In fact, I'm just going to turn the, the audio capture up a little bit for the gameplay. That should be good right about there. Just so you guys can hear it better. Um, Yeah, I think pretty much all of the sound design in this game is pretty phenomenal. Do not go over there. You stay right there. Let me sort it out. Alright, you unlock the closet now. Well, that's too loud. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Okay, that's fantastic. Now open the door, please. Wait, I could open the door? I had the power within me this whole time. It's, you know, believe in yourself, kid. If you have trapped me here, oh boy. Oh, except for all the aliens, I took an oath of nonviolence. That, uh, oh, come on, buddy. Yes, please stay there. And now, yeah, let's. Can we? Can you? Right. It had to be done, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, the dude was. I mean, you saw. You saw it was. You saw what I had to deal with. Oh God, I hope I didn't. Need, oh, did I need him? Yeah, I needed him. Okay. All right. Never mind. Thank God for quick saves. Guy in there. He's making a racket. It sucks. Uh, the sound is for me is just a little bit low. I wish it were just a, a skosh higher, but the problem is if I turn it higher, it's gonna blow up my goddamn eardrums. It's not a very good gradient here. I see you up there. Okay. All right, this dude. I'm sure you guys are loving all of the uh, sounds of my mouse moving and me. Not very, not tapping the keys very hard, but it sounds like, you know, there's bombs going off in the distance on, on the recording. I'm going to make a hard save here, because uh, I already got stuck. Remember when I was nuking the casserole in the microwave? I already got stuck with that guy in front of the soda machine, so I do not want to take this. Can, are we buddies or what? Let's go. Yes, thank you. Also, grow some lips if you can, if you could, please. This and I got a plastic surgeon. I'll give you. I'll give you his card if we get out of here. Just you know, do something about it. It's you're freaking me out, buddy. Let's go. Vamanos, let's go. Right there. Hey. What is this? What is this? What are you doing to me? You open that door. Open this door. All right. I'll wait right here. Yeah, you wait there. I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. Ay -ay -ay -ay. Maybe it has been a while, like too long, since the last time I played Half Life. You know. I think it, I think it might have been just a little bit too long since the last time I played Half Life because um, I feel like. Well, I feel like the yeah the answer's through here. Of course it is. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. This is not the answer. Vents are not the answer to all your problems, children. Uh yeah, I also been playing a little bit of Thief lately and uh, Thief-like games. I tried to lean my head out there. 
very different game. Okay, so what? It's like I'm stuck, man. Isn't it just great looking like a moron on your own uh, Let's Play? Of course, I could edit this out, but I'm also not going to do that. These are kind of like a finish it and print it sort of deals. Okay, that was re okay. I think I think that's how it goes in the OG one too. And he's gonna You're safe, just don't get in the water, dude. And uh I suspect this could happen, but the I'm gonna go over here. So this looks a lot more hokey. Like, this is such a weird... And that's a canned animation too, so I just wasted all that ammo. Fantastic. But that is a cool sound effect. God, still wasting ammo. Just come down here. Come down to my level. Figuratively and literally. Did I just waste a med kit on two health? Of course I did. Because I am the best at this game. Yeah, this looks more hokey. Like, uh, it looks like a lot more... It, it looks like a real space in the in the uh, the retail version. But this is... There's some un the textures that weren't that well used. I do like all the... You know, like I said, the cinder block construction. This time period in the United States, any sort of... An, did you guys just fucking see that? Gordon Freeman just pulled some Doc Holiday shit with that shotgun shell. That was amazing. I also forgot the HEV suit's red now. Um, it's only been a few days. I probably drink too much. Anyways, um, there were a lot of buildings and any sort of like industrial or government or 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 you know uh, research facility. They did have this sort of construction. This is a little hokey, the, the checkerboard. But you did see this checkerboard linoleum stuff. Also, listen to the... It sounds like you're running on linoleum. I just really like the sound design in this game. It sounds like you're running on linoleum, something plastic. It does not sound like tile or something like that. Actually, this goes over here. Okay. Oh, containment failed? Chaos Theory, R&D. It says scheduled chaos, or is it, yeah, scheduled chaos theory. I guess that's what you would call this. I'm gonna save real quick. Damn it! Look at all that finesse, guys. Also, apparently they're immune to uh, high voltage electric shock. Well, you know, it's not the volts that kills you; it's the amps. That's what they say. Like a vacuum cleaner has enough amps to kill you. But, um, well, I mean, that's how stun guns work. They're high voltage, right? Yeah, I knew you were hiding in there. I knew you were there, too. Oh, damn, he jumped. Damn it. Okay, I was I was trying to get the drop on him, but he, he still got me. All right, all right, three's company. God damn. I mean, it's not taking out that much health, but just, you know. I think that took out a bit of health. I'm not sure. That's what I love about this game. It's so unforgiving. Like you stand up for a second and just like, yeah, you just see like your head just like spatter across the floor and like, it's just, there's something magical about this game. It's just, you know, like, it's kind of like, one of the reasons I like it, it, you know, in the movie Alien, It feels like it's a very uncaring universe in Alien, and it's part of that sort of cosmic horror. And, um... Okay, so they did have the moving boxes working in this build. That's pretty cool. Um, and this box is a very stubborn piece of shit. No matter what... Oh my god, how is the box pulling better? Well, we don't know what they did in the mod. But I have never had this much ease of effort with this box before in my life. 
Well, that was a little weird. But I, I can work with it. You know, in the movie Alien, it just feels like... Like, the alien's not evil. It's just... It's just a force of nature, you know? It's just, like... Something that doesn't really care about human life. Uh, it doesn't care about the sanctity of life at all. It is its own thing. And... Okay, that's... Dude, seriously? There we go. Alright. And, uh... It doesn't feel like life is cheap, but it feels like life is very fragile in the alien universe, you know what I mean? Um, and that's sort of part of cosmic horror, like facing our own mortality and fragility and things like that. Oh, shit. oh god, oh, I didn't realize it was that far to cover. I really wish I was Garrett right now, I need to peek around that corner. Go, 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 Now, what is the adrenaline? I'm going to have to look this up at some point here. Even though I'm playing on easy, I'm going to have to look it up at some point and see, like, what adrenaline... And, of course, you're missing the room back here. Um, the area with Barney was just uh, a set piece. It's just, you know, for you to see someone get killed. You can't actually do anything about it. Um, See what I'm saying? It sounds like they're saying smoke. But anyways, I always felt like Half-Life was like that too. You know what I mean? These things aren't evil. They're just here, and they're just doing what they naturally do, and it's very easy to die in Half-Life. Extremely easy. And that just goes into the sort of, the, the cosmic horror and the... Just kind of the feeling of the game. I don't feel like Half-Life 2 captured this aspect of the game very well. Yeah, I'm not going to have any HEV suit for like this whole game, am I? Stand back. Bring it on. Sounds good, man. Kind of curious about that door down there though. Yeah, this texture work looks a lot different. I don't like it as much as OG Half-Life. Uh, these definitely don't look as good as they do in OG Half-Life. But like I said, like the lighting is on point. That was actually one of the selling points of Gold Source as an engine was it was... Um, it had colored lighting, which, you know, I believe Quake did, but the lighting in Half-Life just looks different. I don't know why they advertised it as some sort of feature, because, like I said, Quake had it, so... And this was built off the... Oh, look at this. EG... I'm guessing that's a subscript there. I'm trying to remember. I think this... This is a gravity equation. Something to do with gravity. Yeah, this has something to do with gravity, um, and I'm forgetting what it is. Oh, is that an equal sign? Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, this may be due energy due to gravitational pull equals the uh, sort, of, sort of gravitational constant in the mass of the two objects pulling at each other over their distance squared. Um, that might be it. I don't know for sure. I don't remember. I haven't had to use that function in a very long time because that's not my area. That's not what I do. Hey, you son of a bitch, I got you. Okay. What is that? Okay, that's just a graphical error. Come on, buddy. One, two, three. Wow, took a whole five. Do you want some covering fire? I'm not so sure I want to go to the surface. What if the world finds out what we were doing down here? We are just doing teleportation. It's not like we were... I don't know, gene splicing all these monsters together with, like, you know, human test subjects. This is a classic.
What is that? Oh, there's another one down there. Now, there's supposed to be Vortigaunts here. So, you know what? Yeah. We'll... So, oh, okay, I see. And... Yes, it's a fiesta, the piñata inside the vent. Look at that. To me, this was pretty disturbing as a kid. I thought it was cool, like, in a, in a like, wow, this is, like, serious, and they take this seriously, but this was disturbing. I believe in the newest versions of Half-Life, a lot of the doors, if they're unlocked, you can just kind of push your way through them. Like that one. Oh, okay. There's a door stop there. Never seen that before in Half-Life. See, this lighting was actually pretty good back in the day. Although Half-Life was 96, 97, and Thief, Thief's lighting does look better. I will give it that. But, I mean, that was looking, looking glassed. Everyone there was like an MIT genius. Come on. Really? That is just... That is too many shotgun shells. Also, this is a very rudimentary model for this shotgun. I don't really like it. But this lamp actually looks somewhat better than the vanilla one. There's a lot less detail in these environments, and they look a lot less convincing, you know what I mean? Way more convincing in... Um, in the... Uh, way more convincing in the uh, retail version but um you know still it's it's fun to see like how different everything is in this one even with the auto ammo on I can't hit the broad side of a barn okay that should should have downed you dude what is that dude's problem Still nothing in the trash cans. Oh no. The zombies are a little bit more like... So, the models where they're like really like all ripped open and stuff like this, and the arms get bigger, you saw more of that in Opposing Force. They weren't as advanced in terms of their... I just saved you. What are you gonna give me? They weren't as advanced in terms of their uh, progression through the through the, the stages. So one smart thing they did in the retail version is that the reinforced glass. Oh damn, that scientist dead. Oh no, he's not. He's not. I can save him. I got you. I got you, buddy. That's too many shells to take out one of those guys. That's just too many. I guess I should turn the auto aim off at some point. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know. Where did you... Where did you go? Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get topside! I hear troops are coming in to save us. Oh god, alright. Okay, alright, alright. Let's rock, let's rock. No! You, damn it! Oh, shit. Oh, I see, so it auto-administers if you, if you need the thing. Okay, that's smart, because I was just like, I don't know how to access my inventory. So basically, okay, so I'm gonna go, uh, right here. So if you look on the left, I'm pointing with my fingers, because I'm a moron. If you look on the left, you, or excuse me, the right, wow. Whiskey, people, whiskey. 100 proof. Um, 
You've got anti-radiation, anti-corrosives. Uh, you have morphine, and you know how, like, when you drop off, it says morphine, and, like, when you drop from a ledge, it says morphine administered? Well, that's because in this game, if you die from falling too high, you can do an emergency morphine uh, infusion and injection and uh, get back up on your feet. So there's uh, anti-venom, anti-radiation. There's some other stuff in there too. So that's pretty cool. Um, but it auto-administers it. So unlike something like System Shock, you don't have to worry about doing it yourself. Although I think that would be cooler. Um, and I'm just going to check alternate fire modes real quick. Oh, no fucking way. Oh, that is so awesome. Why did I wait so long to check that out? Also, this room is way less impressive in uh, this build. And these lights, I don't know what this is supposed to be. This looks really dumb. Um, this whole area look, looks so much better in the uh, retail. I'm going to call it the vanilla build. The vanilla build. So. And this was not here before. This is totally new. So I'm going to save real quick. Get some health here. And see what I can see. I don't know if this is put in by the modders or if there was going to be like actual product placement. Or that they just thought it was more realistic to have actual brands. Probably product placement. Let's just be real. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot. Oh, got this. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, we are screwed here, people. Guess what? My pistol is silenced because I need to be stealthy. I feel like it does more damage with the silencer on. Why would you ever take it off? Okay, that was actually kind of cool. That was pretty cool. I, I actually, I'm not mad that happened at all. That was pretty amazing. I, I, I know these levels like the back of my hand and just to experience something like look at that that was amazing and it was really like utilizing some of the cool things they put in the game like slippery floor mechanics and diving through glass and that was awesome although I gotta say this stupid glass thing doesn't make any sense whatsoever from an architectural standpoint I have no idea why this why this would be here this is very much a game level design thing which is probably why it was cut and um this does not look as good. It's very sparse. It feels a lot more like um, Quake or Doom, like the, you know. It just—it's not as. Oh, see, look at that. The si just keep the silencer on. Three rounds. it says police. I don't think they're necessarily police, but guess what? I have no reflection. I mean, it's confirmed. Gordon's a vampire. He has been this whole time. Although the suit should show up, so maybe I'm like Predator. Maybe it's... Then why can't everyone see me? Oh, I've got no aim for that, so... Back to the old... Combo. All right, I'm going to make a hard save here. I can't go in the women's room. But I identify as whatever I need to identify as to get into this damn thing, please. Okay, whatever. Oh, God. I think these are called panther something. I don't know. These are these are early. These are okay. Well, his AI is just gonna freak out. That's fine. Look at this silencer. Do you guys remember how many rounds it took to down this thing before? And now look at that. Just nothing. Oh, I remember this damn room. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Oh shit! 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 Okay, let's do, uh, I think it's just gonna loop around. I do want to try and get back upstairs though. Yeah, of course it does. Ah! Come here. Oh god! Oh god!
Too much excitement. Run, think, shoot, live. Here we go, back upstairs. Before I fell to my... My death down here. I don't know what I just picked up there. I hope it was ammo. I wasted that for sure. Damn it! You guys are insufferable. Nope, no, no, oh, oh, oh. Ooh, God, they're not kidding. Do right, you see what I've had to like go through so far? And the biggest hazard I've had to face is just wet floors. That's insane. All right, I'm gonna quick save real quick here. to try and time this. Hey! Ama Dude, I love the silencer on this thing. This is amazing. Because I know how Valve likes to be with putting them behind me and shit like that. Got you gold. I'm gonna get you too. There we go. Got you. Back here. Okay, we're going over here. I'm assuming this takes me into that guy's office to get the extra shotgun ammo. Although the shotgun does like basically no damage, so. Okay. Yes. I knew it. There we go. I like all these info bits, like telling you about combat shotgun ammo and all this stuff like that. It just, I don't know, it, it adds to this sort of like feeling that you're in like this like high tech suit rather than in the OG game where she just kind of occasionally says stuff. Valve's frictionless simulation here. Ridiculous. Okay, let's save again. Real quick, because I know there's some other craziness coming up here. I'm gonna snipe this guy. Bam, 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 bam. There we go, you're down. I feel like Hitman right now. Got a contract out on all these head crabs. I see you over there. Oh. Yeah, I'm over here. I'm over here. Check it out. Alright, he's down. Here's something hanging out. There's something that's gonna pop out and scare the shit out of me. Yeah, these things like, d d yeah, just a word of advice if you're gonna play this demo, just put the silencer on the pistol as soon as you get it. Don't, don't screw around. It does so much more damage. And uh, are there any supplies? So this is another thing I've noticed about Absolute Zero. Supplies are a little bit more scarce than they were in the OG game, in the vanilla game. Yeah, of course I gotta go down here. This is different too. See, it's a lot more sparse. Um, I mean, it's definitely more impressive than something like Quake at the time, but it's still, it's not, it's not far off. That's the issue, you know. It's still very, it's missing lots of detail. That is sort of cool. I guess with the silencer, if you shoot an enemy, they don't both notice you. I was like these little coffee stations here. All right. I guess they were doing exploratory surgery or something. I don't know. Wait, is this where the soldiers show up? Oh yeah, double barrel right to the face. Works every time. If 
feels good to have my HEV charged up. I mean, but it always feels good. I don't care what difficulty, I don't care how many times you played this game. That's just a, that's just one of those, you know, Julie Andrews singing on the top of a hill about her favorite things or whatever, and it's gonna be that, you know, fully charged HEV suit, for sure. That was a cut line from The Sound of Music. There's just, yeah, there's just something about a full, or, or even partially, like more than 15% charged HEV suit so just feels good. Uh, miss anything in here? Yeah, there's these. Okay, good to know there's a health kit around here. This is largely the same. I mean, again, once again, it's a little bit more sparse. It doesn't, it doesn't look as impressive because it's... I mean, so I read a little bit more about this. This was supposed to be like a Half-Life beta. And it does, it feels like a beta. But still, um, just seeing the differences in how they wanted to do certain things in the game is pretty cool. All right, and if memory serves, is it, I think it's there, yeah. I think it's, maybe it's anywhere over here. Dude, the pulling and pushing works so much better in this version. I don't know what they, what black magic they pulled, what virgin they sacrificed to Baphomet to, to get that to work right. Because I don't think I've ever experienced Half-Life 1 where the boxes don't, you know, you pull them to the side and they don't slingshot into, you know, uh, orbit. Okay. I don't know where to put that anymore. I mean, it used to. Uh, there might be a smaller box. I hope I didn't destroy. <laughs> oh god. Oh wait a minute. Can I just do this and then like this and then? I can't do that. No. Oh damn it! What the hell? Oh, do I have to push it in here? Okay. That's an. I don't remember having to push it that far in the OG game. But it actually works this time. I think it's the, the lateral pushing that got them in trouble. Are you serious? That is also a very satisfying sound. I think those of you who have played this a bunch know exactly what I'm talking about. The, the, just the chunky, like, evisceration sound. of Half-Life can't really be beat. God, this is obnoxious. And then, of course, I have to put it over here. Okay, that took forever. Oh, don't fall off. Now I, oh shit, did I forget to start the crane? Is that even in this one? Uh... Huh! Oh, I see, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I can see why they made certain design choices, like the box puzzle just being a regular jumping puzzle instead of a timed button press jumping puzzle with a very small time limit on it. And um, why they changed this to just be a switch so that you could just put it in place instead of having to push two boxes all over God's creation. Okay, and I'm just gonna play uh, air hockey with myself real quick. Here. Can't get over this crosshair. It's so uh, retro. Okay, please get in there. Oh, thank Christ. Okay, alright. Boom. And I think that deserves a sip of whiskey. Oh, 
Okie dokie. I, you know, here's the thing. Here's the, I'm disappointed in myself. I knew he was there. And yet I did nothing. So, a lot of the pickups in this game, I mean, it's a little bit brutal because it's like, you know... You still need health and ammo, but now they've added... But, like I said, it's kind of a cool... It adds another dimension to the gameplay, having that. But the fact that you don't have to administer them yourself, though, kind of takes some of the punch out of it. Um, I don't think it's as interesting like this. Uh, you know, I think if you if you had to, like, manage your inventory system shock... Stop, well, not manage it, but, like, actually go into your inventory and... And, uh, you know, administer the different kinds of medications and, like, anti-radiation and anti-whatever. That would be more interesting. But you don't have to do that, actually. So it's just automatically happens. So the only thing you have to do is make sure that you're just looking around and stocking up on stuff. Which is a little bit, you know, less compelling. Oh, my God. Is this end? the hell do I need to go here for? What a waste of time that was. So the old school Half-Life linearity is, is sort of coming back out now in it. It felt a little bit more open in that one area with the box room and there was like a bunch of different stuff to explore, but now it's starting to feel a little bit more like the, because this is not significantly different than the office complex bit in the uh, vanilla game. And my pinky is tired of holding crouch. Guess what, I'm gonna get him from here. Sniper assassin. Oh, two shots, look at that. That was pro. Why I want to go back there. See, it worked before when Barney was right there. Also, the G-Man has not shown up again, and that was a waste of time. Just going to save again real quick. Dude. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't do the... Oh, that was like a... That was... See, that's more creepy. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's more intense, but it is kind of cheap. I mean, if you're playing on harder difficulties, you're just going to get, you know, wrecked every day, all day. When they can move that fast. Okay. Oh, yeah, this looks out over that. That's pretty cool. Say, oh yeah. Uh, I don't think this is in the OG game, but I think because they made sure. See, they were trying to, you know, like I said, you know, there's some system shock, there's some immersive sim uh, sort of uh, inspirations here, having to use chairs and stuff instead of just boxes. But they, I think they sort of like, they're like, well, you know, people will get confused. This looks the same. Almost a, the lighting's a little different, but other than that, other than that. It looks virtually the same. I like that they make her more talkative. You know, the HEV lady. Um, I just think it's cool. You know, hearing her talk more. I'm not used to her talking this much. Although, she hasn't been talking about acquiring shotgun ammo or anything yet. Turn this off. In case there's enemies about. Alright, just gonna save real quick. Okie dokie. Gonna stay crouched. Move a little bit slower when you're crouched. Can I just... I can't clip through those, so... Oh, God. Man. 
some of the- Oh, you- Oh, you fucking bitch. That was fucking cheap. That was very Half-Life, though. Very Half-Life. I have had shit like that happen to me many, many times. Really? Dude. Make a hard save here because this is a fucking awful jump. And there we go. It's still preferable to whatever was. Jesus. You know, and that's the thing, you just. Uh, I, I, I can I can deal because I've played Half-Life a million times and I, I know to expect stupid shit like this. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the frame right here. Maybe OBS is freaking out. Let me just check something real quick. Hold on. And I mean, recording looks good, so I think we're okay. I don't know, I think OBS is just freaking out. I probably didn't need to use that. What's up with the inconsistent hit points on these fuckers? Oh, sh yeah, come get me, come get me. I like stuff like that. Okay. I guess you can try and sneak around and turn off the turret. Alright buddy, you ready to rock? Alright, let's go. Save real quick. Did you see that? Did you, did you see that? First of all, that was going on. Did you see that scientist punching out the zombie? That was crazy. Oh my god. This AI doesn't give a fuck. Alright, let's get all of the shotgun ammo. Yeah, this office complex looks a lot different. This is pretty... Don't worry, I got it. 63%. Look, I, I see. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bam! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bam! Oh, dude, that, okay, that is super satisfying. Holy shit, that's amazing. Uh, so I guess range, I mean, I know it's a shotgun, but a range has a lot to do with uh, how effective this is. And boom! Oh, that's not gonna get old, ever. 
Okay. Let, let me in there, please. Okay. Well, my allies just decided. I think they just realized I've got fucking railgun here. So they're like, he's good. He can handle it. Oh, there we go. There's a G-Man. It's totally unfazed by the gestating zombie behind him. Dude, you ballsy fucks don't even need me. You don't even need guns. Shine on, you crazy bastards. Is this... Yeah, he's gonna get... He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Alright. Let's go. Are you still with me, dude? Alright. So glad I got past that stupid uh, box thing. That thing sucked. All right. Well, how the hell are we gonna get out of here? Oh, I forgot this re. So in the OG Half-Life, that's what reinforced glass glass typically does. But um, just get some mood lighting in here. It's it's much cozier with the lights up. Okay, there was no point in going in here, I guess. But uh, Barney, don't make me. Dude. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? What's going on? Alright, how about this? Uh, no clip. On? Yeah, yeah, I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. before I don't know because I don't want to kill him oh my god okay what's the move oh, yeah just come in here come further come further come further Bonnie come on let's get cozy let's get cozy bro come on just get the fuck out of my oh thank Christ that's something they didn't figure out yet what is he MP I guess he is I didn't know. Well, I mean, I didn't know that about the OG Barneys. I had no clue. All right. Going down here. Woo! And uh, we're going to get through here. Like that! Oh, I love this. That's cool. Bah! Bah! Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, there's some time between shots there. It just burrowed through the earth. I would imagine this would be rock and not soft dirt like this. So, oh. I tried to save you, bro. Blood lost. Shit, I'm so fucked. All right, I guess I'm just gonna bleed out. All right, you gotta hit him head on like that. And where the hell is my backup, Barney? I swear to God. Let's go, buddy. Am I just gonna die here like this? Jeez. Oh no, okay. Face me. I got it, Barney, don't worry. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. I think this is where we gotta part ways. You know, parting is sweet sorrow, but I gotta go. You didn't get them gains, bro, that's why. You didn't do them pull-ups. I mean, it's not like I did either, so. We're in the same boat, buddy. I'm just not hanging from a ladder right now. But I think I will be soon, so. Just, yeah. If you could kindly get off of that for me, that would be great. Okay. Good, I have selected. Oh. Ooh, look at that. The G-Man's like evil.
Wait, don't go down there, buddy. Whoa. Get that. Yeah, arbitrary bulletproof glass blast doors. Okay, so I think this looks pretty cool. I think this is really interesting looking. But I got to say, in the vanilla version, I think it looks better. A lot better. But it's really cool. It's really cool to see something else. And I'm going to try and snipe this bitch. He's got more range than I do. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, 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 did you guys hear that? Did you hear that? Whoa. Yes. Oh, this sounds so much better than the OG one. It actually does a little bit more damage, too, so this is pretty nice. Actually, the slow rate of fire actually helps you not waste ammo, which is probably why they took it out of the game, because they don't want you to have resources in this game. I also like that alarm sound. That's very cool. Come on, dude. Give me a second. You can do, like, semi-auto with this. This is so great. Oh, man. Oh, okay. I need to, like, conserve ammo. Shit. I got a little trigger happy there, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, I got very trigger happy on everything I have. All right. So it's that and this. I'm going to save real quick and... Okay, some more suit. Does me good. Nice health. Ooh, can I get up? Is there somewhere I can get up? No. Okay. Gotta go back here. See if there's anything I can grab. I mean, uh, you know. The general layout is pretty much the same, but it just looks so much different. And it is kind of a cool aesthetic, I gotta say, you know, the aesthetic they were going for. I just think it works so much better in the new one. It does also make it feel more like a desert facility, some of the lighting choices and texture choices and stuff that they made for the new one. Right, I got 80 health, let's go. Alright, we're going to try jumping it, guys, because I can't get a clear shot. Right, we did it. We did it. That wasn't so bad. Going to reload. Uh, reload's a bit slower on the SMG, which I'm not too crazy about, but it does pretty good damage. i got to say I'm super happy. I don't know why they nerfed it so much. Hey. Oh, there, he's being, yeah, it's, it's clipping through the body, that's why. I was like, dude, he should be dead by now. Yeah, there we go. All topped off. All right, ooh, 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 more ammo in there. Okay, great. Well, I, I dude, why am I so surprised? I knew that. But again, this doesn't look like, I mean, it looks like a, a storeroom, but it doesn't look like a cafeteria or something, you know? Um, but I do like, again, the bit, sort of ugly bare-bones industrial look does really sell. I mean, this is what places like this would have looked like at that time, and still possibly even today. Okay. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit.
I do like the the uh, vanilla batteries though. This is this is funny. So, oh, I, I was I was thought I was gonna have to jump on that switch, which I think you can make it actually. But I was like, that's pretty funny. You have to do that. Uh, okay. Let's save again real quick because we got through here. Let's not trip any more lasers if we don't have to. Sure, might as well top it off. What the hell? I think that's soldiers. I think it's soldiers. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's soldiers. Fuck, fuck. I'm so fucked. Alright. Get some, get some. Let's go, let's go. Let's rock. Oh, dude, their aim is way shittier in this one. And this is a much easier arena. I don't have to worry about watching my back or anything. The AI is uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, like I said, it's moving around. Okay, they, they can take they can take a beating. Right, he's down. There is a. Hold on. Damn it. I mean, it's true, a 9mm SMG would be a lot more accurate and easier to uh, put rounds on target than... Okay, why can't I get over this? Then I can shotgun at that range. Be a lot more effective. Well, I don't know, buckshot at that range might be okay. I don't know for sure. Okay, what do we got here? Still don't have any grenades, which is upsetting. Come on, let's go. Look at that guy with his fucking minigun. That's so great. Oh! Whoa! He fucking pinned me down, damn. Man, Jesus Christ. How about that? Yeah, he's dead. And then Rest got eaten by the tentacles. Look at this. I love this. Look at this. Oh my god. This is yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, that was great. See, like I said, like I said in the last stream, it's, uh, or a Let's Play, it's almost as good as replaying Half-Life over for the first time. Alright, so I'm gonna go collect, uh, I'm gonna get those in case they disappear under the bodies. Uh, we need all this ammo. For sure. Dude, this, this guy, the sergeant with the minigun and the cigar and stuff. I mean, I remember seeing his character model from uh, concept art, but uh, they actually had him in, like, playable in the game here. Or, I mean, uh... This is a much shorter level. I'm kind of wondering if the pacing's maybe not a little bit better in the beta here. I mean, we'll see. But I didn't expect to be this far yet. You know? Oh, dude, look at that. I've got almost a full HEV suit. I've got a decent amount of ammo here, which I'm going to top off right now. Yeah, I always hate it. Even in the vanilla version, getting over that thing's kind of a pain in the ass. There we go. Got some grenades. I just saw him hit the floor there. The lighting looks a little different in this game. You know what I mean? It's a, it's just a little bit off. There's something about the color. Um, it's a little bit less drab, at least in this section. Uh, early parts of the game, it looked pretty good in the lab. Anomalous materials and stuff. Oh, four grenades. Look at that. Okay. Alright. I think we're ready to venture onward. But Let's see if I can edit that out. Sorry about that, guys. That just kind of came out of nowhere. I don't know if I want to open that yet, though.
guess there's no point to this room, really. But there are some more cine cinematic bits in the uh, vanilla version because there's that bit where you're running down the stairs and you see the uh, scientist get shot. And, and so when you first see the military, you're like, oh, thank God, we've got some backup. And then you see, the, ooh, I like this, the lighting in here. This is really good. And when you come up fast on it, this wall almost looks... I mean, look at... Th these graphics are old and rudimentary, but this wall almost looks realistic ab at about this distance moving fast. You know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. This is a much shorter... And it's less intricate. It's less interesting like this, uh, to be honest. But... All right, we got some grenades now. Gonna open this, make sure we've got Okay. I love that the cockroaches have AI in half life and that you can run over them and come on, come here, come here. Yeah, look, you get the little splatters. That is just, I mean, there's like a lot of little, and the cockroaches do have like complex AI actually to them. Well, I don't know about complex, but they have AI. They're not just like, yeah, get some, get some. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 what the hell was that? Was that a ceiling turret? Those chain gun sergeants or whatever. Those are those are no joke, dude. Man, they just can pin you down. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Uh, actually, I want that. Yes, thank you. My suit's in good shape, though. Thank God my face so soaked up all that damage. Yeah, 100%. Did you guys hear that? Alright. Ah, oh, God, I wasted so many grenades on these jerks. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Alright, this looks good. Or I think I, I couldn't remember if I saved or not, so... And I just stepped on a cockroach. Poor little guy. Poor little guy. Poor little guy. Poor little guys. Poor little guy. Oh, it's a genocide now. It's pretty bad. Look at that. There's more cockroach guts than there are human guts on the floor. And I used a gun for the humans. Why did I save again, dude? I have a problem. I have a serious problem. So I'm probably going to finish out this level and then be done for the evening. But I've really been enjoying this uh, Let's Play so far. This is a good one. Yeah, this is, I mean, Half-Life is Half-Life. It's good, you know, Half-Life Beta is, you know, maybe it's not as good as... Yeah. Got you both. Let me get your buddy here. Fuck. Alright. I'm gonna try a different strategy this time. This is just as fun as the vanilla version, to be honest. Actually, more fun, because this MP5 is dope. I mean, not that an MP5 in real life kick pack... Whoa, 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 am I supposed to go over here? Oh, shit. I thought I was supposed to go in there. Am I supposed to go out there? I think I am. Oh, God, oh, God. Okay, oh, God. Okay, let me just... Alright, well, we're gonna try it again. See, you get adrenaline, and you can... Well, you can't come back from that, I'm sorry. When your skull is uh, skittering across the asphalt there, I, I don't think you can come back from that, I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you guys. You know? 
Again, I'm not an emergency physician, but um, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say that that's not really... Okay, he took too many hits to take down. I don't know what the what's going on with that. Yeah, the desert lighting isn't as good. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not as good in this one. And the skyboxes are a little, you know, they're leaving something to be desired. There's less uh, pomp and circumstance for the military showing up in this one, you know? Like, they're just kind of here. It's like a foregone conclusion that... Oh, come on, that should have killed you. Okay, I, you know, to be honest, guys, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. I know what I'm supposed to do in the vanilla one, and it should have happened. Oh, see? Like... I may stop the stream here. So I got adrenaline administered, which is pretty... Like I said, that's a cool... That's a cool feature. But I don't think I'm going to survive it. Am I supposed to... Is there like a jumping puzzle I'm supposed to do? No. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Are you, there's no way. Well, we're going to try something. Gents. Ladies and gents, we're gonna try something. We're gonna go over here. Oh my god, is this- oh, this shit, dude. Get off my butt, dude. Let me- can- Oh god, alright, how the- Can- alright. That was fucking horse shit. Oh my god. That was insane. That is ridiculous. I can't believe they wanted me to do that. Dude, why are you not dead? Go to hell. Dude! Thank you, Christ. Okay. Alright, he's dead. But you guys saw that, right? Like, what, what was with that guy? Unless I'm just... I don't think I'm that drunk, but... It, what is with this HEV charger? Wow. I'm so glad I read it, I would not have recognized it. Um, okay, well, let me just get some supplies here. And... Uh, I'm also glad that they put numbers instead of a, you know, sort of hard to decipher battery sign it's not hard to decipher like the you know general amounts but it's hard to get any sort of specific info uh, kill that cockroach I'm sorry whoa cockroach of a different color here all right so I'm gonna save again now that I'm sort of someplace r relatively safe Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they made certain, like, there's definitely cert, certain quality of life. From, oh, yeah, okay. Getting off of ladders in Half-Life has always been, um, more risky than putting your life savings into a pyramid scheme, you know what I mean? Like, so they can jump high in this game. Do I want to just take the health penalty and just not fuck with the ladder? So I'm going to save real quick here. And then 
go like this and then... Yeah, that was a pretty big health penalty, but whatever. So once again, this is largely the same, they just added more complexity and the, the, the level is modeled a little bit better in the in the vanilla version. Yeah, there's nothing down there. Dude! Alright. Going back into, you know, slow, methodical mode. I kinda wanna drop down there, I kinda don't. My worry is can I get back up? Well, you know, I can always quick save, can't I? I don't know why I'm just, you know, too used to modern, like, checkpoint. Yeah, I forgot, there's a ladder there. Okay, get my suit charge backed up. Okay, suit charge, ammo. What I want is grenades. I don't, you know, the 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 M40, right? Is it that's what they're called? I don't know. I don't know what they're called. I'm sure there'll be a health station or a med pack or something close by. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, this... I You know, in the early game, it, it felt like things were a lot different. I mean, in layout-wise, not necessarily, but visually a lot different. This one, I mean, it's like... There's a soldier dragging that guy there, and of course, by the time I get there to do something about it, um, he's going to be gone. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? Why can't I get up here? Dude, what the... Okay game is not very well play tested. Okay, that's that's a big problem right there. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Alright, I'm gonna try going out this way. I saw another way to go out. But that should be the way. Okay. Okay, what is the point of this then? All right, I'm gonna quick load because I think that puts us right here. So maybe I'll try and there we go. There's an invisible fucking wall here. Like what? Okay. Am I forgetting, like, some crucial part of this level? I guess if you can... I guess if you can break those, it, you know. Alright, so how the hell am I going to get out of here? I love Half-Life 1 so much more than Half-Life 2. I have never understood the the again, madness surrounding Half-Life 2. People just go nuts for that game. I never understood it. Um, 
I mean, I was definitely hyped when it came out. Oh, you told me I have to go down the f past the fan of death. Yeah, I gotta pass the fan of death. Okay. I think that's the same in the original too. Man, it has been a while since I played Half-Life. Wow, I, th I thought it hadn't been that long, but apparently it has. I'm gonna save, and I forget how to get down safely. Think like that. Yeah. Eh, not so bad. So it's like the stealth gamer in me. I'm like, oh, I don't want to see my life through the vents. I don't think that's a thing in this game. It'd be cool if it was, though. Oh, this is neat. I think I know exactly where I am. Yes, I do, actually. Oh, no, I didn't. But uh, that's a repurposed room from some other game. Or from other from this next part here. All right, so I'm gonna get to the next area. But I haven't seen level uh, headings either. I don't know if you guys have seen them and I just missed them. But uh, okay, here we go. Screams and with yeah, totally different levels, like level titles and everything. Yeah, they made the facility feel a lot bigger and a lot grander in in the in the vanilla version this feels a lot sort of smaller especially by comparison i don't know what that oh oh and you don't even have to control the tram in this one okay that was pretty cool Okay, way less cool than the... I haven't seen a single puddle of radioactive goo yet in this game. I'm a little disappointed, you know? Half-Life without radioactive goo, especially glowing green. Not not that weird puddle of muck shit in uh, Half-Life 2. No, glow. it's gotta be glowing green, that's what I want. Kind of curious what. Oh, this is totally different. They did reuse this though, and they did reuse that. But none of the rest of these assets are. Wow, this is. It is so much more bare bones. I mean, it is cool to see it in a different way. And the faint, yeah, there's glowing green radioactive muck. Okay, so they got that. And I do like the interplay of the light here. But this is so much more rudimentary. I mean, like, wow, what a difference. I mean, in the beginning, I thought it was just like, oh, artistic choices. But now it's like, you know, I'm really starting to realize, like, they just didn't have very much detail in the beta. Like, just go back and play Half-Life 1. It, it, it's like it's like a feast for the senses, you know, the eye, you know, like the visuals and the sound and everything. Like, there's no sound here. It doesn't, you know, there's none of that reverb that makes it, or that or that, so that hollow sort of like wind sound that makes it feel like this like large cavernous thing. It's just this like area. I don't know. I mean, it's cool to see, but I don't know. It feels like it's missing something. This elevator doesn't even make any noise. That is not very Half-Life. That was not very cash money of you. And now we're here at the blast pit. Okay, so the proportions of this are different. So it's actually much larger in vanilla Half-Life. And so here we, yeah, it does f sound like a bigger space because of all this noise, but it's not really wowing me with its scale like in the original Half-Life. This is a nice little area here. 
But yeah, I mean, this is much bigger in the original Half-Life. And also, you can see that repeated texture like that down there, you know? Um, they had different tricks. I think just keeping it far away from you in the original Half-Life prevented you from seeing that it's just a repeat texture over and over, you know? And this is kind of weird. I have two entry options. What's up here, then? I'm kind of curious now. I'm going to say real quick. I'm, yeah, like the so the pacing is like a little faster, but it's there's no drama to it. You know what I mean? There's no tension. There's not even the control. Oh wow! I can pop up up here, and there's just one of them now. Just one tentacle monster. Well, guys, um, and look, this is, it feels so much smaller now, and just so much more rudimentary. Weird, he's not coming for me. Huh. Anyways, guys, I think that does it for today. I will be, here we go. Oh, no, there's, yeah, there's more of them. Yeah, they're gonna get me. Yeah. So, hey guys, I think that does for does it for today for this um, playthrough or, or this part of the let's play. Um, I will probably be finishing this game because uh, now I got you know my feet wet on it. I'm feeling good about it, so um, I want to keep playing it. So, if you guys are enjoying it great and uh, you know let me know in the comments uh, what you think about the game and uh, your experiences with half-life later